Hello, welcome back. This class we shall discuss a few exercises in MATLAB. Some very preliminary 10 questions are there. And let us write the commands for each of the simple questions. The first thing is compute 2 pi square. Therefore, in MATLAB, pi is a reserved word which will give 22 by 7 in order to evaluate uh, uh, this uh, 2 pi square I can simply give the command 2 multiplied by pi and this whole square is represented by the cap symbol therefore this is raised to the power 2 and it is multiplied by the value 2 so exponent has the higher priority then the second thing it is multiplied therefore it is 19.7392 you can cross check this value by 2 multiplied by this one is 22 divided by 7 and this is raised to the power 2 or you can multiply again this one is again multiplied by 22 divided by 7 so this is my 2 pi multiplied by pi is 2 pi square I will get the same answer 19.73 19.75 because of higher precision and other thing right then the next question is find 1 divided by square root of a power 2 minus b power 2 if the value of a is 5 and b is equal to 2 therefore first I initialize the value a is equal to variable a is 5 and b equal to 2 therefore the 5 is assigned to a and uh, 2 is assigned to b right now i want 1 divided by square root of a square plus b square therefore 1 divided by this square root symbol is for the entire expression therefore i put a bracket a square is represented by a cap caret 2 minus b caret 2 since the square root will return a single item therefore 1 divided by this gives me 0 0.2182 right then let us see the third question find the area of the triangle with sides 10 15 and 20 that is the three sides are one side is 10, other side is 15, other side length is equal to 20. Assuming that we are giving the correct sides to which can form a triangle, I initialize three variables a with 10, b equal to 15, c is equal to 20. Now the area of the triangle, you know, this is square root of s multiplied by s minus a multiplied by s minus b multiplied by s minus c where s is equal to the sum of the three sides divided by 2 therefore first i take the variable s is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 here first all the things are to be added then it is to be divided by 2 if you omit the bracket then c alone will be divided by 2 which will give the wrong result therefore i want this to be done with higher priority therefore this i want to do with higher priority therefore this i enclose with a bracket therefore it is evaluated first then it is divided by 2 now we write the formula for this area of the square the square root is for the entire thing so s multiplied by s minus a is a single term if you omit the bracket s and a s will be multiplied because multiplication has higher priority therefore s yes minus a you first evaluate then multiply it with the s then s yes minus b you first evaluate then multiply it with this expression s yes minus c you evaluate first and then multiply with this one for this entire value you take the square root therefore the area of the triangle is equal to 70 is 2.61 where one side is 10 other length is equal to 15 another length is equal to 20 right then find the sum of the first 10 odd numbers assuming that my odd numbers are i start with 1 therefore i give the command colon operator 1 is the initial value and uh, 
टेन इज द एंड वैल्यू आई वॉन्ट टेन I want uh, the first ten odd numbers. I am getting only five odd numbers. Therefore, let me generate this way one colon and how many numbers I want. Therefore, this step value equal to two and I give up to twenty. Therefore, I get ten odd numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are the first ten odd numbers, and for this, I want the sum. therefore i can give either sum of answer because answer is my previous thing or i can give 1 2 up to 20 therefore the starting number is 1 last number is 20 and step value equal to 2 therefore the first number is 1 next number is 1 plus 2 3 then 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 5 plus step value 2 equal to 7 7 plus 2 step value equal to 9 therefore these are the 10 odd numbers and then i get the sum is equal to 100 you can cross check this one right then my next question is write a command to create a series of numbers 9 7 5 3 now the starting number is 9 the last number is minus 5 since the value gets decremented i have to give the step value equal to 2 because The difference between two successive numbers are two. Nine minus seven two. Seven minus five is two. Five minus three is two. Three minus one is again two. And likewise, one minus one is minus two is minus one. This way, therefore, I can get that number by this one. The starting number is nine. All right. The last number is minus five. and each time you give the step value of minus 2 because the numbers get decremented right therefore the starting number 9 and last number is 5 i am getting 97531 all right then sixth question is write the truth table of the xr gate the xr gate you know that the xr gate is nothing but this is a and b bar then plus Yes. Plus a is complemented and it is multiplied with b. Therefore, I have to use this one. This is not b is ended with a, not a is ended with b, and these two are I added. Okay, so we can write this like this one. So we have. we have this value a b therefore only two variables are there therefore i take the value a is equal to a four values with uh, a is equal to 0 0 1 one because one two variables will take four combinations and b is equal to this much and i want a b bar therefore my command should be equal to this one that is a and b bar both are multiplied then the second term is a bar is multiplied with b and these two terms are finally r they are added therefore 0 xr 0 gives me 0 0 xr 1 gives me 1 and 1 xr 0 gives me 1 and 1 xr 1 One gives me zero. That is the output of the XR gate is high if the inputs are different. Zero, one. They are different. Output is high. This is one and this is zero. They are different. Therefore, output is high. If the inputs are same, one and one, then it is equal to zero. Here also the inputs is zero, zero. Therefore, they are same. So the output equal to zero. Right. The next question is: Find 10C3. 10C3 means that is from 10 items. If 3, 3 items are taken, then how many combinations we get? This I can do using a simple command. You called n choose k from 10. 3 items are taken. Therefore, I get 120. Or the another way is the formula is factorial n. n is equal to 10 divided by factorial of r 
multiplied by factorial of n minus r. Therefore, n is 10, r is equal to 3. Therefore, factorial 10 divided by factorial 3 multiplied by factorial of 10 minus 3 equal to 7. This also gives me 120. Either I can use the factorial formula or I can use the n choose k formula. Right, the next question is, if u is equal to xy divided by x plus y, show that x multiplied by dou u by dou x plus y multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to y gives me u. u means the same expression. How it is possible? Let us first declare x and y as symbols. All right. Then I define the expression u is equal to x multiplied by y divided by x plus y. Right, I got the value of u. Now I have to write x multiplied by x is multiplied by differentiation of u with respect to x then plus the second term is y multiplied by differentiate u with reference to y has given me this answer. I am supposed to show that this value is equal to u. Therefore, if I simplify the answer, I get this one xy divided by x plus y, which is nothing but the value u itself. So, this way we can show that x multiplied by its derivative plus y multiplied by its derivative with reference to y gives the same expression for this xy by x plus y. Then the ninth question is, find the limit of x tending to 0 for this expression. In MATLAB, we can find the limit by the function called as limit. Already we have declared yes, yes, as x as symbol. Anyhow, again I define it. Then I write the command limit and the expression is the square root of 1 plus x minus square root of 1 minus x divided by x and the limit x tends to and the limit x tends to 0 that is evaluate the limit of this expression as x tends to 0 therefore as x tends to 0 this term becomes 0 this term becomes 0 therefore it's approximately is equal to 1 because this one is equal to uh, x changing to 0 therefore the answer is equal to 1 then the last question, differentiate y is equal to e power sin x. Let us differentiate the respect to x because the expression is in terms of x. Therefore, directly I can give the command just to differentiate. So, differentiate the e exponent is represented by exp and it is sin x. Already x we have defined as a symbol. Therefore, e power x differentiation is e power x itself and x differentiated again gives 1. Here, exponential of sin x different gives exponential of sin x and sin x differentiated gives cos x. Therefore, e power x multiplied by differentiation of x. In this case, it happens to be sin x. Therefore, exponential of sin x multiplied by the differentiation of sin x is cos x. Therefore, these are the only few commands which uh, are required in MATLAB to accomplish this one. So here, to th this one, I can show again this one. The, if we say 2 multiplied by pi square and uh, this one, I define a, b variables and we find the expression. And again here we evaluate s is equal to sum of all the sides divided by 2 and we write the formula square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c here we are little careful that we put parentheses to alter the hierarchy then for the next question we generate the first 10 odd numbers by using the colon operator and we find the sum using the sum function then we use the colon operator to generate a series then we find the xr values where the values are diff if the inputs are different the output is high we find the combination using n choose k or by factorial formula we find the differentiation with diff command we find the limits with the limit command all right we shall continue next thank you so much